set 71741, the LEGO Ninjago City set of the Ninjago theme. It is a 14 plus set, which has 5,685 pieces. It has 18 minifigures, not including the little build robot, because I don't count that as a official LEGO minifigure. It came out January 14th, 2021 for early access VIP members, and it will officially release on February 1st, 2021. It retails in the US and most of Europe for $299.99. Uh, the UK gets it for $274.99, and Canada gets it for $399.99. I cannot wait to build this. It's going to be so much fun. So we're going to look at the front here. You'll see a picture. You will see a picture on this side because I'm going to be, yeah, picture over here. So it shows the entire design of it. There is the usual information, plus all the minifigs along the bottom. It also includes a limited edition Golden Woo figure, and it has a 10 Ninjago Years Anniversary seal on the bottom, because this is the 10th anniversary celebration of Ninjago, and this is the big, big set that you get with it. The back has the entire city as lifted into the subsections that they are. You get multiple pictures along with that. One of the looks to be a museum you have a little outdoor food area along with a in along with the indoor portion of that food area you have a little arcade room plus ice cream parlor and a child's bedroom it shows that you can expand your ninjago city gardens because it is a modular set so it will fit in a lego city actually maybe not aesthetically but it will conform to the lego's modular city line uh, you also have a, a picture of a ladder that raises down and up, a advertisement thing that you have multiple um, pictures to advertise on, and a little arcade machine that apparently has some functionality. Um, one side has the has the entire city showing the dimensions. So it is 29 inches tall, 17 inches wide, and 13 inches deep. That is including the little shrine that attaches to the side. There is the Lego Ninjago 10 years um, symbol in two other different languages. And the bottom has the usual UPC and you know all that information. And then the top, the top has all the minifigure names, so it comes with a young Lloyd with a scoop robot, which is a robot that I didn't include as an actual minifigure. You have the mechanic and Cease or Cess. I don't know how to pronounce half of these, so I'm really going to butcher them. You have uh, Eileen, Hai, and Kaito. You have me and Christina, along with Urban J, Urban Nia, Clutch Powers, Misako, uh, Ronin. Uh, Urban Cole, Tito, Kai, and Zane, along with the Golden Woo, which is used as the actual size indicator. The box is taped up instead of pull and peel, and it uses three pieces of tape because it is quite the big box. Uh, the set, a lot of bags so far, it also has a second white box on the inside as the larger sets normally do. Okay, so there are 26 bags total. It comes with two base plates, a 32x32 32 32 and a 32x16. There are three instruction booklets and what looks like, oh dear, three sticker booklets. I hate stickers, they are the bane of my existence when it comes to Lego. There is a separate a separate bag of you know other components that don't fit such as uh, swords and actually a roller coaster track piece some vines some other components that and yeah this is going to be an extremely big build i need to get everything off this table to do this so the total amount of stickers in this thing is 66 sti stickers which as far as i'm concerned is 66 stickers too many that's a lot you also get a Free Ninjago poster that's stylized as uh, an anime and not actual Lego figures, which is actually very interesting. And it's a signed poster. Well, the original was signed. This is just a copy. So, wow, that's a lot. And instruction booklets. So numbers. If I can find this. 
Numbers 1 to 10 are book 1. 5 to 6, I'm pretty sure. Uh, 11 to 16 are book 2, and 17 to 26 are book 3. Book 3 has, uh, let's see. Oh my god, okay, that's a lot. Wow. Has 10 pages of parts. There are a lot of different parts used in this. But this is going to be a lot of fun. Holy crap. And to begin.
there are no words for how awesome of a set this is. Um, yeah, so earlier thing I said, um, 18 minifigures are actually 20. If you count the, is it over here or over here? Where did it go? If you count the, the uh, little guy with the uh, cups here, because that is a full minifig and the statue over here. So it's actually 20 minifigures. But this was fun. So this took me about 10 hours to build. <laughs> so it's a big, and you get a lot of extra pieces. Like this is a large chunk. And I got an extra vine in mine, which you might get in yours. But yeah, this is a lot of extra pieces. And this is very nice. Um, and you get minifigs. So I don't know all of them by heart, so I'm not even going to try. But you get the 10 year anniversary uh, one right here. A ninja. Actually, a ninja with, like, green visor type thing. A, um, a normal... You know what? Where's the box? Where's the box that says what all of these guys are? Okay. So. Let's see. So, golden Miss, uh, Mr. Wu, apparently. You get, um... Oh, 21 minifigures, because this one isn't listed on the box. That's interesting. So where does he go? I don't think it actually says... I gotta quickly check something. Okay, so it doesn't actually say where this one goes, but this is just an extra minifigure. Okay, that's awesome. And then uh, here you have Young Lloyd with uh, kid feet or kid pants. Uh, there's the robot right here that I was talking about that I'm not including in it. You have a person... Who's this guy? Urban Cole with a game controller piece that I've never seen before, which actually looks less game controller than the actual... You get these little black pieces that actually look like game controllers instead of this, uh, this sort of very interesting looking one, but... Yeah, so you get him, you then... Let's go to the next one. You get Eileen. Right there, with a pretzel. You have CC with a diamond, a thief, right there. You get Zane, and he has a sword. You get Kai with a sword. You get Clutch Powers, he has a satchel. There is the Mechanic with a really, really deadly looking chainsaw thing going on there. Um... Misako, Lady Misako right there. You have Kato. I'm really hoping I'm pronouncing these right. I'm probably not, but Kato. He has a phone and a briefcase. There is Hai with an ice cream cone and a spoon for a scoop. You have me. A little dog that's with uh, Tito who has a VCR tape. There is Ronan with a bandana mask. There is Urban Nia with nothing. And Urban J with flowers. So those are all the characters. I'm going to shove them out of here so I can get on. This is So this is modular. This can come off and go to the other side if you want it to. I'm just going to be on this side. But it has a little shrine area with a statue. Um... And it's very intricately detailed. There are a lot of building techniques that I have not seen before that were incredible to use. Then you have this. Like, this is just... God, it's a lot. Uh, the first book has that stuff about what each thing is. So, I'm going to use that. I'm going to put it over here and just... i I got to use this as a thing to prop it open. So, you have the satellite array right here. That's what this is. There is a little room on the inside. I'm not quite sure how you get to it. Or maybe, actually, maybe that is where that guy's supposed to go. Give me another sec. Nope, doesn't say. However, this can be, if I remember, yeah, taken out. So you can get in there with a little control room area. I so love the way that this is done. If I could just get it back on without breaking things. Yeah, so this is a very nice little section. You then have this, which is 
What's that? Which is just supposed to be a hidden room. So there's not much to it. Once again, love the design of that. Stick that right back up on top of that. You have several things right up here. You have an arcade room. With a little arcade, so you have an arcade room with a little arcade machine that actually does have some. Uh, that was not pleasant. Um, an arcade room with an arcade machine that does have some, uh, which does have a little effect to it, which is really cute, along with like little computer hat rack, telescope, uh, chair, and a little fish ornament on the side, along with an advertisement and the ladder that goes up and down. There is the, okay, gotta take that off. There's a little part of the museum with what looks like a dragon figure, a tree and then a dragon figure hanging from the inside, which is very nice. You then have, or the museum roof as they call it. This is the roof Zen garden with the little flying scooter from the thief from, uh, what's her name? Cease, who is uh, running away with a diamond. So you have that. And there is the student apartment is the green one, and the yellow is the museum with a lot of details. The green one has a little bed, uh, a very old TV, like antenna TV, a uh, little umbrella stand plus an art stand for painting. There's a telescope over here with a new piece I've never seen before. you got a balcony. Uh, a railway track is used to make this. I don't quite know what that's supposed to signify, but it's there. You have the back area, which... Little balcony areas in the back, and then the little hole where the staircase here comes up. Uh, inside the museum, you have what are apparently several artifacts from Ninjago or from the uh, show. Uh, in here, and it's a very cool little turn table, turn style thing, and like gift shop, which I thought was rather adorable. Uh, here, you have an ice cream parlor with those little game things that look like game controllers and a roof made out of butcher knives which is extremely creative i love it um more on the back like oh like a dropped ice cream that spilt and little ac unit and inside there's all sorts of stuff in there for ice cream yeah that's ice cream shop there is the shen chen shen's noodle house oh no yeah, Shen's Noodle House right here, which has a little walk in the, uh, which has a little cooking area and a window and not much to it, a little flower pot outside, and then you have Shen up here, a full minifig. Um, this is the top of it, which I'm hoping I can take off without it, like, really being mean with a tree and just balcony space. Go on, stay. Okay. Um, if any of the green in the set here looks weird, it's because uh, I use a green screen because I wanted to get into that, and um, that's why sometimes it won't look right. And I apologize, but there's really not much I can do about that right now. Um, you have a, what this is supposed to be is a Ninjago fan room, so it has a bunch of like, just, basically just a room that a fan made. Um, little bed with... Ninjago style sheets and that and up here so this is the tea time balcony so you have tea up here and it's actually a very beautiful looking room and all that very creative I uh, the window here is extremely creative it's using a technic part which is hinged but it creates a very nice window and I really love that and these two rooms are not labeled for some reason it just says island with bonsai tree these two rooms are not labeled but it looks like you have a what looks to be a um a food place here uh along with this looks to be a um a, a thief house due to the fact that you can open up a trap door and there's hidden stuff underneath there now the hidden now there is a page in the instruction books with with the language and basically anything with a sticker on it and there's a crap ton of stickers which was not fun that was my hell anything with a crap ton of stickers was a um that's what's uh yeah anything with a sticker can be translated so um actually one of the things under this shop right here literally translates into easter egg like it's you know people who watch the show will probably understand what that box is supposed to be 
But so yeah, that's what this entire thing looks like. And this was an incredibly beautiful set to build. And I absolutely loved doing it. I highly recommend like, like, like for even, like even the people who don't like Ninjago get this. So I'm giving this set for build a four out of five. Uh, and my personal reason, and this is not the reason that a lot of other people are going to have, but my personal reason is that there were too many stickers. There is such thing as too many stickers, and this definitely hit that. There are over 60 stickers in this thing, which are a pain to get on. So that's my reason for giving it a 4 out of 5. If there were a bunch of printed parts, I'd probably just give this a 5. But the stickers bring that down. Um, total value uh, gets a 5 out of 5. Uh, no matter where you buy this, you are going to be getting incredible building. You are going to be getting incredible designs. Incredible ways to build and be, lo lots of good building techniques. And the pieces will never, you know, there will never, usually it's about a piece. Um, one piece every 10 cents is usually, so if it's above that, then it's not a great value, but piece to price, no matter where you are, this is going to be great. It's 5,600 pieces. Uh, Canada, we pay $400 for it, so that's still a fantastic price. So value is 5 out of 5. Um, play, it's so obviously a 5 out of 5, I shouldn't even need to say anything. This set is an incredible play set. There are so many, so many tiny little details everywhere that just give this set just a fantastic that basically anyone who builds this child or adult should never get bored from it. Um, display is a five out of five because if you have a Ninjago city section, which I don't cause I didn't get the original and now I'm sad about that. But if you have the Ninjago city, then this set is definitely one to get. It will add to it. And this set is also good for any sort of Chinese style builds that you have. So five out of five for that. So all in all, I am highly recommending this set for anyone. Once again, this is an incredible set. The building techniques that you will discover and all of the pieces that you get, this is just great. And I have to recommend it. If you are going to get a set like even just one set this year this is the one to get because this is going to be because even then after this is all said and done this is going to retail when this set retires this is going to be jacked up in price by a lot I don't even have to look at previous ones I can just tell that the 10 year anniversary Ninjago set is going to jack up it's, it's going to be extremely popular for the people who can afford it and afterwards, a lot of people are going to want it when it retires. Uh, so all in all, buy the set because it's fantastic. And I will see you next time.